What's the plan today? Yeah, I mean, see, uh, see how many of our starters can go. I'd like to get them uh, some game minutes. Um, I think Bruce is probably not going to be available. You know, um, that his, his knee has been bothering him a little bit. Played 38 minutes the other night, so he's doing his uh, pregame workout right now. Kind of get an update after this um, um, special media session. Uh, given that you guys have already clinched, you got two regular season games left. What, what's the goal for today? Number one is uh, you know just not getting hurt. I mean, such a delicate balance. Like Nicole has played in like one of our last five games now. Is that correct? Um, you know, Jamal's been out with the thumb. Um, so, on one level, I would love to get like our starting group um, some real minutes together. Understanding that we're locked in at one, we can't improve, we can't move. And then on the flip side of that is, you know, you don't want anybody getting hurt because um, we have our best chance of winning and making a play, a deep play up front if we're completely healthy. So that that's kind of the, you know, the, the catch-22 that you, I find myself in right now. But I, I think our starting group needs to get some minutes together. Is that a quarter, a half, three quarters? We'll, we'll kind of see how the game goes. But my hope is after this, get with our training staff. And if our starting group can play, I think it'd be, uh, be good for those guys to get out there and compete. Speaking of the starting group, how do you get KCP going and back to the KCP he was prior to All-Star break? Well, one, getting him healthy. And uh, he's been dealing with this kind of ongoing illness. So he has not been himself as of late, you know, uh, not just with his play, but I think a big part of that, Chris, is that, you know, he has been under the weather. He has not been feeling well. And I think when you watch him, if you know KCP, you know that he's not the, his usual self right now. So um, just kind of hopefully the last couple of days have allowed him to get some rest and start feeling a little bit better. And then um, I, I have no doubt that he'll be, you know, come playoff time. He'll, he'll get back to being the KCP that helped us become a number one seed because uh, I think he's been instrumental in the season that we've had. Just talk about Reggie Jackson and how he's kind of progressed here. Obviously, he had a really good game with Phoenix, but just what have you seen out of him lately? Yeah, I mean, uh, every chance he's been given to play as of late, I think Reggie's gone out there and shown that not only has he playing, uh, played well, um, but I also think Dempsey, he's also going out there and – you know, you, he's got a, 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 a poise and a confidence about him. You know what I mean? Like uh, when he's out there, he's running his team. He's getting to his spots. He's making his teammates better. Um, he's really effective in the pick and roll game. So um, the, the neat thing about lately is that we've had guys that maybe who have not been in the rotation as of late who have gotten a chance to play and play extended minutes. I think DeAndre Jordan was great the other night. Double double. Like every time DJ plays, he goes out there and impacts the game in a positive way, and he might be our best per rebound, uh, per minute rebounder. Um, so whether it's Peyton Watson, a young kid, a veteran like Reggie, a veteran like DJ, um, a lot of guys are showing me that, hey man, if you need me, I'm ready. I can help this team. And you know, if you want to win a championship, you're going to need a lot of guys to step up. It's not just on Nicola's plate. It's just not on Jamal Murray's plate. It's on our starting group, but also a lot of different guys. Each playoff round brings upon different matchups, different concerns. And I think we have a lot of different lineups that we can go to uh, to counter a lot of those. If there's a silver lining in the last handful of games, deal with the injuries and stuff like that, is it part of, okay, Here's a playoff game. I'm going to need this guy who hasn't played in a while, mm -hmm. play 15, 10 minutes, whatever it is. And you have confidence, a lot more guys, it seems like. Yeah, I think that's definitely been the the one positive, Scott, about, you know, Nicola being out, you know, Jamal's thumb, different guys being in and out recently is that uh, Reggie, Peyton, DeAndre, getting uh, Zeke Najee back. Uh, Ish, I think, has played well. Like We have a lot of guys who have taken – uh, full advantage of whatever opportunity they've been given. And that does give me confidence because, you know, you might see it in a practice or whatever, but to see them go out there and do it over an extended period, that's, that's impactful. Uh, we could see some really big teams in the playoffs. We could see some really small teams. And uh, to see guys step up and, and play well has been, I'm happy for them, but also allows me as a head coach to say, okay, Duly noted, if we have to use this player, I feel a lot more confident about using this player, that player, or whoever else. Mike, what would be, if you made a case, why you can win it? What's, what's your case for why you can win it? Well, we've been the number one team in the West since, I think, middle of December. 
and that's you know weathering um, four game losing streaks, guys in and out of the lineup. Uh, we've been somehow able to uh, maintain uh, a firm grip on number one. Uh, I think our record against the top teams in the Western Conference is one of the best. If you look at you know the record against the other teams in the top six, I, I think we probably have the best record against those teams. So, um, and last time we were fully healthy, a few different bodies, a few different names, but the last time we had Nicola, Jamal, Michael, um, we went to the Western Conference Finals. And as we all know, uh, every great team, every great player has gone through the trials and tribulations of becoming a champion. And I think we've had to go through our fair share, not having Jamal Murray the last two years, not having Michael last year. And um, if healthy, I think, you know, I, I trust our team against anybody because we've proven it. We've beaten every team in the league uh, when we're fully healthy. And um, I have tremendous confidence in that group. But it's not going to be easy. I think it's going to be one of the more wilder and crazier playoffs and postseasons in recent memory. One more. All right. Back to all. Back All right. Back up. All right. Good. So if I gave you a magic wand for one thing that tightened up or got better in the playoffs, what would it be? Oh, defense. Yeah, I mean, you could ask me any question. My de standard answer will be defense. Uh, when we defend, and obviously lately the rebounding has been, um, and I guess I could be cheating because I'd say, you know, rebounding is a, the end of your defense. But when we defend, you know, our, our offense has proven to be elite the last four or five years. But when we defend, now we can get out and run and attack before teams get set. And uh, when we defend at a high level, our winning percentage is through the roof. Thank you. Thank you.